Welcome to Tycoon Training. This session will cover how to create a lease file audit. To begin, log into Info Tycoon and select your management company. On the left menu, select Lease File Audit. Before creating an audit, let's review our templates. I can see here we have some company-specific templates for Florida and Georgia audits, but let's add a new one for Texas. I'm going to start by using the Info Tycoon Best Practice template, but I could also customize one of my other templates. I can change the name of this template and the description. can change the layout and order of questions by dragging and dropping them. Any question on the audit form can be required. Auditors will have to enter information for these questions if the units are occupied. Questions can be removed by clicking the trash can icon. Some questions may show a grayed out trash can because the data they capture appears in the reporting. New questions can be added by clicking the plus button in each section and typing a question name. Here we're adding a drop down question we can add choices for the answers we want to appear in the drop-down list. We can change the order of our choices or delete them. Once complete, we'll click Save to save our answers. Then save the section changes. Changes can be made to any of the sections that are on the audit form. Once you've completed your changes, click Save. Now that we've created our Texas template, let's create an audit using it. We're going to go to Audits on the left menu and select New Audit. We'll enter the audit information, including audit name, date, instructions to the auditors, name and phone number for the audit lead, select our audit template, enter our property name, and select our completion threshold. Lowering the completion threshold will allow the audit to be marked complete once the desired percentage of files have been audited. Last, we'll select the users that should have access to this audit and hit the Next button. In the next step, we can review and edit our audit form. If we need to make any changes, these changes will apply only to this audit and not to any previous or future audits. Next, we'll upload a rent roll that we have previously cleaned. Once uploaded, we can see each column that was on the rent roll with an automatic mapping to the corresponding audit field. Always double check this mapping and make changes if necessary by selecting the correct audit field from the drop down box. The next step will identify errors in the rent roll. The lease start date for this file is not valid. By clicking on it, I can correct it. Once I click refresh, the errors are cleared. If I have a rent roll with many errors, I can correct it in Excel then re-import it here. My last step allows me to confirm my audit details. 
Once we click Create Audit, the assigned users will have access to it in the audit list. For any questions, please contact support at infotycoon.com.